Okay, welcome back to another relearning Angular video. Last video, we created a basic form and we bound it to a few properties in our TypeScript class using ng-model uh, that we learned in the video before that. And today I'm going to create an interface so we can define a type for the data that this form is going to collect. It's a little bit more uh, appropriate and it makes it a little more streamlined. And if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And let's uh, jump right into it. So we got VS Code open. I recompiled the app. It's served up. And I did a little styling to the form, so it looks a little bit neater. If you remember in the last video, it spread across the entirety of this page. So I made the width like 500 pixels and brought the top margin, um, made it a little bit, uh, I think it was 50 pixels, just to give it a little bit of space. And so if we look in my Explorer here, I'm going to create a new folder under app, and this is going to be called interfaces. And inside of this, I'm going to create a TypeScript file and call this the contact.ts file. And this is going to hold what we're going to call the contact interface or define basically a type of what the contact information is going to hold. So in here, I'm going to say export interface and give it some name. Let's just call it contact. And let's define what's going to be in this uh, interface. So I think we just have email, which is of type string, and name, which is also of type string. And that's all we have right now. But if we decide to add more properties, we can obviously add them in this interface. But I'm just going to keep it as it is right now. And so now if we go to the contact component TypeScript file, instead of just making two properties out on their own, let's say person of type contact. And when I click this, it'll bring in contact from the interfaces folder in the contact TypeScript. It's going to equal a TypeScript object and we're going to give the name just an empty string and the email also an empty string. And it's throwing an uh, error down below when it goes to compile because this dot name and this dot email are no longer valid. So what we can do is this dot person dot name and this dot person dot email. And it's also going to throw errors from the HTML piece of this component. So if we look, the ng model value is going to be different. It's going to be person dot name. And we're going to do the same with email, person.email. And then same down here, um, person.name, person.name is not equal to an empty string, and person.email is not equal to an empty string. And that's going to allow us to show that button once all of the data is submitted in the form and we're, we're going to allow the user to submit that form. So now if I go and just enter some values into this form, just like this, and let's bring up the developer console so we can look at the log, we'll submit. Here we're getting the same thing that we would have before. The only difference is now we defined a type via an interface that we called contact, and we have all of the data in an object of that type. So that's all I wanted to show in this video, probably pretty brief. I doubt this was a very long video, but um, I think this is important information, something for you to try out and create an interface and get to use it uh, with the ng model and also to display the button with the ngf directive. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video and take care.